you're a new developer and you've asked any of these questions, then this video is just for you. How can I learn how to code with zero experience? What do I need to get started? Where do I start as a brand new developer? Let's face it, starting out as a brand new programmer is very, very difficult. There's so much information out there that it's easy to get overwhelmed. Languages, frameworks, tech paths, salaries, careers, freelancing or full-time jobs. Should you learn Python, C++, JavaScript? <gasps> Learning by yourself is hard. That's why you shouldn't do it. So let's get into this. I'm sure one of the first things you thought when you started your programming journey was this. Hmm, maybe I should just buy a programming course. Well, here's the problem. 90% of the courses you buy, you never complete. Just ask our students. And let me tell you why. Courses are great and full of insightful information. But what happens when you get stuck? You either A, move on, or B, you give up and most people pick B. If you move on, you'll continue to skip and skip and skip and you'll retain zero of the information in the course. Meaning that that $50 course was just essentially a waste of money and all of the other money that you've spent on coding courses. Or B, like I said, you give up and that's what most people do. Life gets in the way. You don't have time to look into the problem. You say, eh, this is too hard, I give up. But we both know that you want to become a developer. You still want that job, you still want that salary, you still want that, that coding tech nomad lifestyle. So how do you go from, hmm, yeah, it would be cool to learn how to code, to, oh yeah, I'm a developer, this is my Well, it's all about mentorship. Why spend three years trying to learn how to code by yourself and risking the chance of you saying, this when you can get the same results in one year just by having a mentor working with you okay that's a no-brainer question it's the same reason why actors work with paid professional trainers to get into shapes for movies the results come 10 times faster so if you want to be the Ryan Reynolds of learning how to code you do not need to do it on your own having someone there to show you the ins and outs of programming is key and most of the time it's overlooked now 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 I know what you're thinking oh Connor you just want me to join Duff Slopes. you just want me to join your course. Now, even though I want you to join DevSlubs because, you know, we offer premium one-on-one -on -one mentorship and show you how to land paid work as a programmer just three months into learning how to code, doesn't mean that that's my intent with this video. In all reality, there are different ways to find mentors. You can join Facebook groups. If you have people in your inner circle that know how to code, you can try paying them to guide you and teach you. You can even check out mentorship sites. Literally, just Google coding mentor and see what pops up. I'm not here to sell you anything. That's at the end of the video. I'm just trying to tell you this. If you're dead set on learning how to code by yourself, chances are you're wasting your time. Just listen to what our web developer mentor Jason, who was in fact a self-taught programmer, has to say about this. Keep in mind, he's riding a tractor while he's saying this. I don't know why. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Jason. I'm the web developer mentor at the DevSlops Academy and I'm a self-taught developer. And when I learned to code, I did it all on my own and it was really hard and it, it sucked. Quite frankly, it really, uh, really sucked. And here's some of the realities, the hard things that I faced as a self-taught developer doing it on my own uh, versus having some mentorship. So first, I was just learning random programming languages. I was wasting time learning things that weren't useful to help me be successful in my career because I didn't have any guidance. I didn't know that there were specific learning paths and specific technologies to become proficient in to be desirable in the job industry. All right, second, I didn't even know when I was ready to start applying for jobs. And because I never felt ready, I procrastinated it for a very long time. And I just kept myself uh, in tutorials and documentation and I kept studying, studying, studying. All right, and then the last thing, I had no idea what to expect when actually applying for the jobs. I had no idea there was three to 10 interviews. I didn't know that your uh, developer's resume was entirely different than a traditional resume. I didn't know there would be technical questions, uh, coding challenges, take home projects and whatnot through this entire process. So uh, having a mentorship can provide a lot of clear guidance during this journey because there's a lot of unknown things about it. So do yourself a favor, if you're learning to code, find some mentorship. Now, if that isn't foolproof enough, I don't know what is. So the biggest takeaway, you don't have to learn how to code by yourself. You can if you really want to, but you shouldn't. Learning how to code on your own will take much longer and it's easy to get unmotivated and give up, which is why we recommend mentorship. Finding someone that can show you the ins and outs to keep you from getting frustrated, to teach you all the nooks and crannies of programming, to keep you away from the bad habits and show you the good ones, to help keep you on the right path, to help show you what languages or frameworks you need to learn. That way you're not wasting your 
time. Just someone overall to hold your hand and walk you through the big, big world of programming. And if that's something that you need or want from us, this is the selling part. And you wanna have mentors working with you one-on-one -on -one and help guide you to paid success and even helping you land paid work while you're still learning how to code. That's right, you can earn money while you learn. Feel free to check out DevSlopes Academy. Click the link down below so we can chat about it. That's it for now, guys. I hope it all makes sense. Like always, I try to keep these videos short and straight to the point. If you have any questions or thoughts, be sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That way we can keep making more of these videos for you guys. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video.